So our first speaker is Lee Waters, MS, Deputy Minister for Economy and Transport. The Deputy Minister supports the responsibility of social enterprise, the social economy and the cooperative economy, alongside other areas such as foundational economy, active travel and digital connectivity infrastructure. So I would like to ask the Deputy Minister to introduce an overview of the role of the sector in Wales and the framework. Thank you, Deputy Minister. Thanks very much. Well, this is really weird, isn't it? There's 200 people I'm, I'm speaking to, and I'm sitting as I have been all bloody day. You'd be on the table in Kanaki, getting <laughs> more and more frustrated as the day goes on. This reminds me when I used to be a TV reporter, and I used to have to go into this tiny little cupboard and stare at the camera, uh, and then come out and phone my grandmother, who told me that I needed a haircut. Uh, that was the, the, some, some of the human interaction I had from speaking to. Uh, all these people. But as you can see, I had a haircut yesterday. I slipped out to buy a custard slice uh, and the barber shop is next door and it being Kinahi, they don't take bookings, even though the rules say you should. Uh, so I was able to get a haircut in short order. Um, so um, I'll, I'll keep my comments very, very brief. Um, clearly, we are in uh, extremely challenging economic times. Uh, ONS suggesting this is the sharpest drop in output in 300 years. Uh, and we don't really know what's coming at us. We know it's bad. Um, but beyond that, we don't really have a, a clear sense of the scale of the tsunami that's hitting us. We're seeing from the redundancies and the closures of businesses uh, already um, that this is going to be far deeper than anything we've seen in living, uh, in living memory. And just as we had we're facing a health crisis, I think like we've seen for 100 years, we're probably in similar uh, economic turbulence as well. And the key imperative for us, I think, is as it has been for a while now, but this adds uh, impetus to us, is to create resilience for the Welsh economy. You know, as predicted, a lot of the uh, businesses that we've been dependent on, multinational firms uh, who, are, who are part of global supply chains, uh, get hit whenever there are external shocks like this. And what more can we do to stop, uh, to protect uh, our local economies, to stop wealth from leaking out uh, and to ground things locally? And the, clearly the social uh, economy, the social enterprises has a critical role to play in that. And I think what's so encouraging about this report is that it has come from the sector because this does need to be uh, the leadership needs to come from within I think there's been too much of a pattern over 20 years of devolution of all sorts of organizations looking to the Welsh government uh, to sort things out for them uh, and uh, that is that is not the right that is not the right way forward and I don't think it's been an easy document for the sector to pull together either so I think it's you know it's, it's just worth some honest reflection about that and that, I think that uh, reflects the challenges there are in, in 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 growing organically in this way and supporting each other this this is not easy uh, oh, clearly, if it, if it was easy, it would have been done sooner. Uh, so, I, 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 you know, I think let's be honest about this. And there's, there's no, there's no wrong in saying that. If this is a hard thing to do, uh, you know, we are doing a bunch of things to support. I'm really pleased that the funding for Social Business Wales has been extended. It's going to be hard for us to keep the type of support we've hitherto had in place given the scale of the turbulence we're facing and the public finances being in the state that they are in. So what more can we do? Well, obviously, the, the major piece of work that uh, I've been uh, involved in, I think, which is which is relevant to this agenda, is the foundational economy um, agenda. A number of you will be involved in the 52 trials that uh, we are rolling out. They've been hit by COVID, but they're getting back on track. But the big piece of work I'm uh, focusing on now, which I th think is beginning to show some initial signs of progress, is around procurement uh, and the, the, and the uh, uh, analysis we're doing with the Centre for Local Economic Strategies of all public spend in Wales and the, and the PSB footprint to understand what money is being spent by the public sector within region, what money is being spent out of region, out of country, and what potential is there to ensure some of that money. So we're going to focus initially on food and on PPE, because I think these are common sense areas that people can get the case for uh, repatriating more of that spend. Uh, and that will have... Uh, clear knock-on effects for, for all parts of the local economy, but I'm really keen that the social enterprise bit in particular uh, can benefit. And we've seen through elite in uh, Ebu Vale playing a key role in the PPE supply already. Um, so happy to take part in the discussion. I won't wait on beyond that other than to say 
enormous challenges, uh, but there's an imperative that we get this right and that the social enterprise sector takes its role of sorting it itself out seriously uh, to, to make the most of that deal.